All right, what's up guys? In today's video, we're gonna be doing some contest prep updates on Hunter Labrada, Ian Vallier, Jason Lau, Derek Farmsworth, Mark Lobiner, and much, much more. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, guys, we're gonna start off with Hunter Labrada. Hunter Labrada is about three weeks, almost three weeks exactly out from the 2020 Tampa Pro, where he is going to be competing in open bodybuilding for his IFBB Pro bodybuilding debut. So Hunter has been posting some contest prep update photos on his Instagram. Uh, he's been doing this ever since like 12 weeks out so almost weekly bi-weekly hunter has been posting contest prep update pictures on his instagram showing exactly what's going on with his contest prep every single pose you can imagine uh, all the mandatories front double bicep uh, most muscular side chest side tricep side oblique shot with thigh lat spread uh, rear rear lat spread i mean anything you want to see uh, hunter's been posting it so it's kind of cool to see a modern day probably top class open bodybuilder uh, posting everything posting all of his shots really leaving nothing to the imagination except for potentially two to three weeks worth of dieting and water retention uh, cutting out the water and adding tan at the very end so it's kind of cool to see all of that coming from someone who's uh, really being put on a pedestal as prob as potentially being in the top three if not winning the 2020 tampa pro next our buddy jason low jason lau IFBB underscore Broku has posted some more contest prep updates and uh, <laughs> Jason roasted me earlier because I, I the information I got on the last video was wrong about his most up-to-date contest shows so I do apologize he did compete in 2019 he did compete at the 2019 Indie Pro where he placed 10th in the 212 class and he also competed in classic at the 2019 Mr. Olympia Next, Ian Vallier has been posting some interesting shots and, I mean, really showing exactly what's going on with his contest prep right now on his story. Uh, he doesn't particularly post a crazy amount of stuff on his actual wall, on his, on his Instagram account, but if you do follow him and you're a fan and you want to check out his story, uh, you know, stories only last about 24 hours, but he does post a lot of sneak peeks, uh, memes, and things like that on it. And you can see in this side chest shot, uh, just looking absolutely huge, uh, chest really full, popping out there, uh, the legs looking huge. And also with this <laughs> little, you know, side oblique shot with the with the hamstrings and the glutes, I mean, you can really tell he's got some serious conditioning already. Uh, midsection looking great, uh, chest looking striated, and I think they're emphasizing the glutes on this shot. And you can really see all the veins and the uh, muscular fibers really popping out on those glutes. So it's really cool to see uh, this far out from the show that Ian Vallier is is doing really well with his contest prep and, and really leaning out. Next we have IFBB Pro Justin Mackey. If you guys don't know who he is, I've already done a video talking about Justin, who he is, and, and what he's getting ready for. But uh, Justin is two weeks out from the 2020 Tampa Pro. So I think it's a little closer to three weeks than two, but, uh, but he's excited, so that's fine. And uh, he's just really showing off his glute development in this post. So uh, I'm definitely excited to see uh, Justin get on stage this year. Also, another guy that we have talked about recently is IFBB Pro Santi, Santi Argon, a.k.a. the Cuban Muscle. And Santi recently posted a uh, front most muscular pose from his living room, and he's looking absolutely diced. Uh, I really like to see those teardrops starting to really pop out. I really think that's one of Santi's uh, best features. Also, he's got a great pair of arms to go with his chest. Now... I am a little worried that he's going to get outsized at this show at the 2020 Tampa Pro in the 212 class just because we have some serious monsters coming into the show, which leads me into the next competitor, IFBB Pro Derek Farnsworth. I have not talked about him yet, but I've been seeing him all over my Instagram, so I wanted to share him with you guys. Uh, he is, he is like everyone else in this video, he, he's He's saying 17 days out, so between two and a half to three weeks out from the 2020 Tampa Pro, uh, he is looking absolutely 
diced. I love the way his quads are really separated. Uh, he has a, a interesting physique. He's dry, he's full, he has a very nice X taper. Here you can see his back double. Uh, very interesting physique. And, and, I, and honestly, I wish the best for Derek. I think he has a very competitive physique, and I think he's going to do well this year. Next, we have IFBB Pro Weapon X underscore IFBB Pro. Uh, Derek Oslin is getting ready for the 2020 Tampa Pro in the 212 class. So, uh, like I said, we've got some serious mass coming into the show. Uh, also, conditioning. I always like to start with the legs. He has a great quad sweep, and uh, I really do think he's going to have um, a little bit better time placing than Derek. I think he has a, uh, it almost looks like a softer physique. I'm not really sure if that's just uh, younger muscle, but uh, his front, his front relax is insane. Uh, he's very wide. I think the only thing is... It, his legs look a little smaller than the rest of his body, uh, and I'm kind of worried that that might uh, knock him off uh, one or two places if somebody with a little bit wider leg development comes into the show. But besides that, I mean, Derek looks fantastic. He's bringing a lot of size into this 212 class, uh, and I'm very excited to see him. As always, I'm very excited to see everyone uh, at this year's 2020 Tampa Pro. And I have a few more guys here I want to cover just real quick. James Hollingshead or James Hollingshed uh, is getting is still getting ready for his show and he's posting some contest update photos on his Instagram so I wanted to share them with you guys as well while I have you here and he's looking uh, absolutely huge something that I'm really looking forward to is if James can bring some serious I mean serious conditioning without losing any of the size he's put on this year in the offseason he's a uh, he's put on a lot of size this year so if he can keep that muscle if he can retain all that all those gains uh, and bring in some good conditioning not no 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 not good conditioning great conditioning uh, I think he'll be able to uh, to snipe a spot here for the 2020 Olympia. Another guy, real quick, Emmanuel Longoria. I really liked his physique. I saw him online today when I was just scrolling. Uh, it looks like he's about 14 weeks out from his show, uh, but he's looking. I love his physique. I love how he, just absolutely massive he is up top, uh, and then his legs. He has kind of an interesting physique. Uh, it doesn't exactly flow very well, or maybe it's just the way he's standing. But uh, I just want to share him with you guys. I think he's a, a good. Uh, I think he has a lot of potential uh, coming up in the ranks this year. Is AKA the Giant, also known as James Christian Johan, and I saw his post on the Bodybuilders Without Borders post Instagram page, posting saying he is eight weeks out from the Cali Pro, so he is looking. He's looking pretty good. I think he's got a lot of time to bring in some better conditioning. Now, a lot of people might not just so a lot of people might disagree with me on this, but I actually like the higher lat inserts. I think it really uh, accentuates the smaller waistline. If you could just look at this guy from the front, he's kind of got like a um, Dennis Wolf style physique. Uh, I think he has a lot of potential this year to really start cracking into those uh, first callouts. maybe. I think the only thing that I'd be worried about is if you look at this last picture, it looks like his chest is is almost a little undersized compared to his arms. He has some massive arms on him, and I'm thinking it might overshadow his chest just a little bit. So uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. Uh, comment below what you guys think. And the last guy, kind of an interesting, uh, more, not particularly bodybuilding, but I wanted to talk about it anyways, Mark Lobliner, the owner of, what was it, uh, MTS Nutrition, Tiger Fitness, I'm not sure what other things he owns, maybe Carbon Culture USA, I'm not sure, but he posted some photos on his Instagram talking about being, you know, 21, 22 weeks out from the muscle contest masters class so it looks like mark is getting ready to compete in 2020 so that's kind of cool uh, i have not seen any photos of mark competing before in the past i know he's always been a uh a fitness 
personality. He's always been muscular. Uh, obviously, with owning a supplement company, usually that's something that comes with it. But it's kind of cool to see that Mark is actually getting ready for a show. So hopefully uh, he can bring something impressive, something to um, a package that's willing to... A package that's going to help promote his company, promote his uh, his brands. And I wish the best of luck to Mark Lobliner in his competitive season in 2020. Last but not least, I did want to talk about Nick Walker real quick. Uh, he is looking absolutely shredded in his new photo on his Instagram. Uh, obviously, he's getting ready for the NPC uh, North Americas, the Nationals this year. And I really do think this is the year for him to win as he came in second last year. So uh, best of wishes, uh, best of luck, Nick. Um, I give you all the, all the wishes. Uh, we know you're going to do well. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on stage this year. All right, guys, and that's going to do it. Uh, thank you so much for stopping in and watching the video. If you guys enjoyed another contest prep update video, consider liking the video. If you enjoy me in general talking about bodybuilding and fitness, consider subscribing. Uh, if you guys want to support me in another way, you guys can go to Golden Era Nutrition and use discount code SANCH15. And, uh, that, uh, and that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.